leg and got to the far side, not near the net. Along the boards. Ruiski from Montreal at number 44 got the puck started out, and now the Canadians lose it at center ice again. And here we go. The Bruins and the Canadians, and this is for real, folks. Just underway in the first scrap of the night. Linesmen are in a hurry. This all begins just inside the Montreal blue line when David Krejci puts a puck to the net. It deflects off a player to the corner. And when this deflects to the corner, watch Krejci track this puck in and Gallagher pick it up, coming off the wall. And Krejci is going to absolutely steamroll him right there. Bouillon didn't like it. He comes right over and addresses Krejci. Ferenc doesn't want his star player getting messed up with Bouillon. So the two of them grab onto each other and it stops right there. But that all stemmed from a solid hit from David Krejci, who's not known to go around running people. But Gallagher had his head down. He wasn't paying attention. He was concentrating on pulling it off the wall. And he wasn't expecting it. when he threw that check and he really looks like he's in terrific pain. Lucic is a big, big, tough Bruin and he took that hard check by Yemelin and he appeared to get the worst of that for sure. There have been some solid hits in this period so far. We saw Thornton go into the end boards. Yemelin catches Lucic coming up the wall and he believes he's got him with his head down. But watch Lucic at the last second he sees Yemelin coming. And the one thing about being a hockey player on the ice is you have to be aware of who you're on the ice out against. And you know Subban and you know Yemelin. They like to take these kind of runs at you when they think they've got you. And this is a pretty big character, Bob. And as soon as he crossed his arms in front of him, this is about 240 pounds you're running into. And you could see Yemelin's body just give in. I mean, he was the hitter, but he got the worst of it here. 